The Virginia governor's race is one of the most hotly contested elections this year and could be a barometer for how Americans are feeling about the economy and the overall direction of the country. It features a conservative attorney general who regularly goes head to head with the Obama administration and a former chairman of the Democratic National Committee. A group now famous for taking the issue of political speech all the way to the Supreme Court is getting involved, releasing Fast Terry, a documentary that Democrat Terry McAuliffe's campaign will not likely be very happy about. David Bossy, president of Citizens United, joins us to talk about the controversial documentary. David, good to see you. Thanks for having me. Good to be here. Okay, so what motivated you? I mean, for a lot of people, it's a local race. It's one state. Why did you feel the need to get involved? Uh, it's the prelude to uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, 2016 campaign, so we wanted to pay very close attention to it. We wanted to educate people about Terry McAuliffe. Uh, that's what we do through our documentaries. Uh, Citizens United has now, this is our 25th film over the last eight years, so we're very prolific in our documentary making. And uh, obviously one of them went to the Supreme Court, Hillary the movie. Mm -hmm. So we're really looking at these, uh, at these folks to educate the American people, in this particular case, the, common, the people of the Commonwealth of Virginia. All right, we're going to play a little clip of it here so folks can see what you've put together. What I've done is said, uh, we have two plants, as I said, in Mississippi. And there is no plant there. There are no jobs there. You're building a factory in China, but this is going to create American jobs. So there's a little bit of a disconnect. Like I said, it's been a big facade. I am sick and tired of seeing our jobs going to China. It's like they were taking our jobs and taking it over there. It's a pretty direct... Uh launch to let people know uh, about the positions that Terry McAuliffe has taken in the past. And obviously, when you won your case a couple of years ago at the Supreme Court, there were all these predictions by folks that, you know, allowing these kinds of political um, documentaries to come out, it, it was taking speech to a different level in a way that maybe they argue wasn't originally intended. You know, it's interesting. This film doesn't even talk about Terry McAuliffe being a candidate for governor. This film doesn't mention the governor's race. It doesn't mention Ken Cuccinelli. Uh, this film is all about green tech and Franklin Pellets, two companies that he hangs his hat on for his business background. And what we do is we go and talk to the real people uh, behind those companies, the former employees of those companies, and really uh, uh, shed a new light on Terry McAuliffe. And I, I hope people can go to FastTerry.com uh, and they'll be able to watch the film this week. All right. We did invite the McAuliffe campaign to for either Mr. McAuliffe himself to join us or someone else to come on uh, as part of this segment. We did get a statement from them that they declined to appear. They said it's not surprising that this group, after donating more than $100,000 to Ken Cuccinelli's campaigns through an affiliate group, would be attempting to mislead Virginians with highly partisan and misleading attacks. And they say it's nothing more than a smear campaign. Sure. <clears throat> what, would, what else would they have to say uh, when you work for Terry McAuliffe? He's a professional politician. That's what these guys do. Look, we didn't put our own uh, editorial content in here. These are real people. The, you watch the film. I urge everyone, go make up your own mind. Watch Fast Terry. You'll hear from former employees of Green Tech uh, and, and others who were involved in, uh, in Franklin, Virginia, watching the Franklin Pellet story. I think you're going to see that we didn't uh, put any words in anyone's mouth. I think that you're going to be very surprised uh, at the content. Where will this be available? Is it going to air on television, on cable? Is yeah, it online? We, uh, people can go get it, uh, order it on DVD today. Uh, people can, uh, it'll be available online this week in, in its entirety. Uh, and then we'll have announcements about television uh, coming soon. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. And, of course, we are closely watching that race, one of the only uh, really big ones that's out there in, in a, sort of an off year for a lot of folks in 2013. And, and we'll see if this uh, film has any impact. Well, thank you.